my name is Denis Kuzmin. I'm from Odessa Mechnikov National University, Department of International Relations. I'm here to participate in an interesting project dedicated to the Baltic and Black Sea region. We prepare a May program for our universities. I'm Mikola Trofimenko from Mariupol State University. I'm the vice rector. I'm Aisle Jomaitite. I'm vice dean of the Faculty of Political Science and Diplomacy. I work in Little Das Magnus University for already, I think, 15 years. Hello, everyone. My name is Mindaugas Yurkinas. I'm professor at Little Das Magnus University and I teach and research politics. Uh, my name is Bogdan Cherkas. I came from uh, Kyiv National Tarashevchenko University. And uh, I'm the administrative uh, assistant of the project from our team. Okay, my name is Tomasz. I came from Poland, from the Mickiewicz University, from Poznan. And I'm just enjoying and trying to do as much as I can to this project. Well, I'm Niklas Bamsson. I'm representing Lund University. I'm here in the capacity of uh, administrative coordinator for my university and this project. My name is Mariana Gladysh. I come from Ivan Franco National. University of Lviv. My name is Olga Bogdanov. I'm from University of Tartu, the lead partner of this project. What is the best achievement of the project? I guess the best achievement is uh, not only that uh, Lviv uh, launched this uh, program, but that we uh, understood that together with the, with the partners we can do uh, great things. So we can, when we cooperate, really we can uh, do something and show the publications, show that we can, for example, uh, organize some conferences, some uh, other scientific work. So this is the, the best, even not just the, you know, the launch of the program, but anything that we do uh, together. Very much positive and uh, inspiring because uh, we uh, are part of a great team of uh, great universities and uh, great people and scientists and uh, our university created a great center of Baltic Black Sea region in the framework of this project and I think that this idea is uh, will be very successful. It is very successful now. Uh, we can get uh, more students, uh, we can get uh, more uh, projects, uh, additional finances, we can uh, um, uh, improve uh, the work of our international relations and foreign policy chair. Uh, we get more foreign students to this uh, major and uh, it's uh, also a history of success of this project. There are many best experiences, if I may rank them. The first is that we have contributed to the Europeanization of Ukrainian universities, which means that we have transferred our experience in making programs, supervising programs, running programs, looking for their sustainability in the long run, administrating, uh, administrative and uh, management things. Um, the second thing that which has a long-standing value, in my opinion, is the network that we have created throughout the three years, it means the people that we know now that we can make uh, further projects or write uh, books together as we did within this project. So these are the main two achievements in, in, my, in my opinion right now. What did you learn uh, from the project that you did yourself personally? Uh, I think I learned to be more open to students. Uh, I don't think I'm so close, but uh, uh, I see that uh, mm, using more internet resources, using more interactive methods, uh, it's absolutely obvious thing now, and uh, it's welcome. Uh, students expecting that, that's I learned. So before, it was, a couple years ago, it was not like this, I think.
Oh, I have learned a lot. I have learned many things how to manage the project. Especially this uh, project gave us a great experience to us and to our university how to manage the funding because it one of the first projects where the, we, the university got the money and had to teach how to, have, have to learn how to manage all the money. So we got an, a valuable, uh, very valuable experience in this sphere. Mm -hmm. um, concerning opening the MA program, it was also, so um, as in our university we do not have so many uh, master programs taught in English. We are the second or the third only, so we are uh, also uh, pioneers in, in this sphere, and we also have learned a lot how to open the new master program according to Bologna criteria, how to fit them and how to satisfy the needs of uh, the stakeholders, the students, and the teachers. And that was a big challenge for us. I have learned patience. Uh, I have learned to be patient in a sense that sometimes I need to explain the same things again. I have to be uh, patient to uh, check in many documents. And uh, at the same time, I've learned that it's nice to work with people from other universities, other countries. They are almost like my colleagues. It's like that it's very nice to communicate, to get partnership, and to get to know other universities, to establish some new, new partnership. And from the other side, also as like European universities, we are doing something for Ukraine universities, but I can see the possibilities for my university to take that knowledge and to do, to improve, for example, our Vitotas Magnus University. Uh, I think, it's a good experience to, uh, in, in many cases, uh, especially for e-learning and Moodle and everything, because I didn't know anything about it. But, and, but also it's responsibility for something that we do together and for our case uh, uh, as well. So we, we have our homework and we have, uh, uh, um, you know, date limits that uh, we should uh, be following so I think that this is the, the responsibility and also some new things that we learn from our European partners and also from our, our Ukrainian partners as well mm -hmm. so. patience accepting the diversity and still being very uh, still feel that I need to learn a lot especially Mariupol. Mariupol was very uh, interesting and very enlightening to me. It was very interesting to see how the university in this, this basically front city uh, copes with the daily life and, and uh, manages to uh, successfully integrate in, uh, in the wider university community. I think this, for me, I think Mariupol case is the most interesting and the most uh, hopeful thing in a way for me. Experience, definitely. Myself personally, I got experience, and then my university is, uh, uh, has made an effort to um, to build up the new approaches uh, into Ukrainian education and involve partners from different regions. Used, we used our contacts, we used our best experiences that we could just share with others. What could be uh, done differently? Done differently with the project? Mm -hmm. uh, this is a good question. Uh, well, I think that um, oh, this is a tough question. The project shouldn't be longer, and the project should not include more partners, neither fewer. So, in terms of length and the number of participants, it worked quite fine. Maybe the project could include uh, students of Ukrainian universities having uh, opportunity and funds 
to travel and spend more time in the European Union partner universities, not only in terms of winter or summer schools, but like really attending a semester like in the Erasmus Plus studies. This could have been a nice introduction for them to consider choosing uh, similar programs at the Ukrainian universities when they're back after having followed courses or programs, master or BA programs, which relate to regional studies. That could have been an asset in my opinion. What could be done differently? This is a question I would need a lot of time to prefer. Uh, probably we could think more how to keep these two regions closer. I still have some, some impression that we're working on two separate regions and probably that was the most uh, challenging element to find the links between these two regions, not to describe them one by one, but to find the joint element. What would be um, um, your words to those who would like to apply for a similar project? Uh, so it's worth doing that. You will get uh, um, so much fun communicating with your partners. You will get a great experience in doing something together and having uh, the results of it sharing these results, and I think it's the most important, and it's really worth it. Just try, because I guess that uh, when you apply for a European Union project, it seems like something extremely complicated. Uh, when you have to fill hundreds of files of papers, and you have to prepare a huge budget, and you have to be in contact with the different cultures, universities, and countries, and definitely it's very challenging, but still, at the end of the day, it's more than worth. Can you imagine uh, what will be, uh, where will be your students in five years' time? Oh, I hope very much that they will be successful working in different companies. Uh, hope some of them will work in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and will promote the idea of Baltic Black Sea region. Uh, I hope uh, some of them will stay in Ukraine and in Odessa, but I think we live in very. Uh, area which uh, <coughs> push the students all around the world. I'm pretty sure that they will find themselves uh, in Europe or in North America very easily because they're prepared and they have enough capacity to integrate and to even to lead some international structures. As far as one of our students, uh, she's uh, the head of the office of the prime minister, so I can then imagine everything, you know, even uh, that uh, some of our students can be uh, in uh, executive power of Ukraine and somewhere abroad as well, as because too many of them, they uh, have some experience to uh, study and live uh, and also to work abroad. So. I think part of them will be uh, dedicated uh, to the reforms of Ukraine and I hope they will uh, make something good for our country and also the others, they will do something good for the world. You know the problems we have uh, and Ukraine faces uh, during the last six years. In Mariupol, uh, we know what this conflict is uh, uh, very much and uh, we uh, faced these problems uh, Ukraine faced uh, because of the war with Russia and uh, the students they will be more prepared and they will know more about this region and it will help them uh, in their future uh, works and uh, positions uh, and uh, to improve the positions of uh, our country in the region so I think it will be very fruitful cooperation and for the students and for, for the universities and for, for Ukraine, for, for our countries.